What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Pixel 8 Pro device for the very first time. So if you just got your new phone and you want to maybe know what you need to do to get it running the way you like it, or maybe you've never owned a Pixel device and you just want to know how to set everything up from the start, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. So let's get this bad boy fired up and set it up for the first time. So all we got to do to start it is just hit the power button and hold it until you see that it starts loading up. So there we go. We got the Google logo and it is now officially starting up. All right, so here we go. We are presented with the welcome to your Pixel screen. Now right here, you have a few options. You can set your language. So it should be set to your default language depending on your region by itself. But if you want to change it, you can go ahead and set that up from there. And if you have any impairments with vision or speaking or hearing, you can go into this accessibility settings and set these up for yourself. But I'm gonna leave everything as default and then we're gonna hit get started. And now on this screen is going to ask you if you want to transfer any of your data from your old device to your new Pixel 8 device. So if you have an old Pixel or Android phone or even an iPhone or an iPad, you can transfer transfer all of your data over to your new phone. Now I'm going to make a separate video about how to transfer all of your data to your new Pixel device. So I'm just going to set up a clean device from scratch. So for now, we're just going to hit skip. Now we're just going to connect to our Wi-Fi. All right, so here we go. It's now asking us to sign into our Google account. Now you're gonna wanna make sure to go ahead and do this, okay? Because you're gonna get access to a lot of really important features. And you can see if you try to skip this, it will actually warn you that you're going to lose access to some of these features like using the Google Play Store to download applications. You're not going to be able to back up your phone to Google Cloud and you're not going to be able to activate device protection features. So definitely go ahead and sign in using your Google account. Now you can of course do this after you set up your phone, but we're just gonna go ahead and do this now anyway. All right, so now it's asking us who's going to be using this device. So if you're setting up for yourself, just select, I will be using this device. If you're setting this up for your child or somebody else, you can select that, but we're gonna keep this to, I will be using it, and then we're gonna hit next. I agree. All right, so now on this step, you can transfer your SIM card to your new Google device. Again, you can do this later after you set up your phone. If you want, you can do it now. And also if you have an eSIM, you can go ahead and download the eSIM and set up your eSIM this way. I'm gonna do this later because I just have my SIM card in my other phone and I'm still using it. So I'm just gonna hit skip for now and then we're gonna do this later. And now it's asking us to set up a pin. Now this is the pin that you're going to use to unlock your phone if you are not going to be using Face ID or uh, your fingerprint. So go ahead and set that up. We're gonna re-enter it for validation and then we're gonna hit next. And now we can set up our fingerprint on lock to get into our phone using a fingerprint. If you don't want to do this, you can hit no thanks. I'm definitely going to suggest that you do this. It's definitely very convenient. So we're gonna hit start. And now we're just going to scan our thumb on this optical fingerprint scanner. I actually don't know, is it optical or did they finally go ultrasonic? That's something I definitely will let you guys know about. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna set up face unlock. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom. We're gonna hit I agree. And now it just says to look at your phone. We're gonna hit start. And now just follow the instructions. It says tilt your head up, tilt your head down. And there we go, all set up, quick and easy. Hit done. So now it's asking us if we want to copy any data. And if you actually hit next, you'll be able to see if you have any previous backups saved. And you can see I have my Pixel 6 Pro uh, that was actually backed up two hours ago. I have my Galaxy S23. Uh, Ultra that was backed up 13 hours ago and then my Galaxy Tabs as well. So if you want to copy data from any of your backups that you have stored, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm just gonna hit, uh, go back and then just skip this step because I don't want to copy any data just yet. All right, now on this screen, it's just asking us if we want to opt into any of Google services. So we have device backups. We have uh, the ability to use our location in order for Google to serve us better, uh, allow scanning of Wi-Fi networks to easily connect. And then we have send diagnostics data to Google. I usually leave all of these enabled except sending diagnostics data. I just don't want that happening every day, draining my battery and just sharing my personal data with anybody. So I just uh, disable that one, leave everything else enabled. And then we go ahead and hit accept. If you want to read about the warranty, you can go ahead and select whichever language you want. I'm just going to hit next. And now it's just going to ask you if you want to continue setting up a few more features like Google Assistant, Google Pay, Now Playing, and a few other features. You can do this now, or if you want to get to using your phone, you can say leave and get reminded later, and then Google will send you a reminder to set up those features at a later time. And now you can select if you want any of these additional apps to get downloaded to your phone. So if you use any of these like Fitbit, Google Docs, Google Home, Google One, the Wallet, Translate, or if you have a Pixel Watch, you can go ahead and install these to your phone. I'm just going to go ahead and disable some of these that I don't really use and I'll leave the rest enabled and then we can hit OK. 
All right, so here we go. I believe this is the final step before we can start using our phone, but here it's asking us if we want to use swipe navigation. So if you're somebody who's always used the buttons down here at the bottom for navigation and you've never swiped uh, or if you've, if you've never tried swipe navigation, you can actually try it and go through a tutorial on how to do that. But if you don't want to or you already know how to use them, you can just hit skip and we should be all set. Yeah, there you go. Right there, it says swipe up to go home and voila, look at that. We are greeted with our brand new Pixel 8 home screen. And now we can finally start using our new phone. Now, if you swipe down on your screen, you'll see the section up here that says Pixel Setup in Progress. If you tap on this, it will ask you to go back and finish setting up all those features from earlier, like Google Assistant, Google Pay, now playing. If you want, you can go ahead and start and do the rest of that right now. Or again, of course, if you want, you can just come back to it later. And then we have our Google Play Store notifications right here. You can see some of those applications that we opted in for, like Google One, Google Home, Docs, and all those are still being downloaded in the background. So just give it a few minutes to do all that. But your phone is essentially good to go. You can start using it. You can start navigating around, doing whatever you want, installing your applications. It's officially yours. And if you did end up skipping any of those previous steps, like logging into your Google account or inserting your SIM, you can go ahead and do that now. Simply just take the SIM out of your old phone, stick it into this phone, and then go to your Gmail, and it will ask you to log in to your Google account. But there you go, guys. That's pretty much the entire process of setting up your new Pixel device. Now, I will be making a video going over all of the things that you need to do first on your new Google device, like all of the settings that we need to go through here and everything that you should change. So if you want to see that video, definitely be sure to subscribe because it will be coming out very soon. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.